Hey, I was a cup guy here. Quick video. Today's video focuses in on the mystery behind Elvis concert program uh, volume 7 or more commonly known as souvenir folio concert edition number 7. There's a little mystery and confusion on this uh, last or what would be the last uh, photo album that was sold at Elvis concert so uh, I'm going to try to explain what's going on here and I think I've solved the mystery so here we go. First of all I'd like to start out showing you the previous edition, which was Souvenir Folio Concert Edition, Volume 6. Now, I've got three copies here, and all three are the same, uh, except for this middle one. And what makes it special is it's my personal copy that I bought at the Elvis concert uh, when I saw Elvis on February 21st, 1977. So I keep it in uh, plastic. But anyway, just as a reference point, I want to show you a couple identifying uh, markings on this thing. First of all, and maybe a lot of you haven't even seen one of these uh, on video in detail. But when you open up the first page, it says boxcar, all rights reserved, printed in USA. Okay? And then you flip through it, and various pictures of Elvis from 73, 74, 75, mainly. And I'll just look through that real quick. And. Get to the end, and it does mention select photos by Ed Bonja. So, as you can see, this is volume six. Now, the first part of the mystery that I've uncovered is. Hold on, let me move this over. Okay. The first part of the mystery that I've uncovered is. When you watch the beginning of the Elvis CBS special that was filmed in June, latter part of June, 1978, you see a concession guy in the crowd selling, this is a screen grab by the way, uh, he's selling Elvis buttons, Elvis poster, and if you look, he's holding up Elvis Souvenir Folio Concert Edition Volume 6. As you can see, Elvis has got his leg up in this program. And then there it is. And it says Volume 6. So, I bought my program in February of 77. And even in June of 77, they were still selling volume six. Okay, now, part two of the mystery. Now you, I'm not going to read this whole thing. What I've got circled here, two days after Elvis died on August 18th, uh, Carl Parker leased out Elvis's uh, name, likeness, and all that to a company called Factors. And you can see it right here. So, keep that in mind. Factors. So anything made after uh, August 18th with Elvis's likeness on it that was licensed was done through Boxcar slash Factors. Now, we get to the third bit of uh, the mystery being solved. When you would buy this thing uh, in a catalog, I'm talking about volume 7, it uh, came with a uh, certificate of authenticity. And as you can see, it says uh, factors. 
and it came in a box that looked like this with a certificate of authenticity and it had a extra cover but made out of a kind of heavier uh, material of paper textured and it came in a gold presentation box the other thing is when you open and I'm going to show you all this in volume 7 here in a minute when you turn to this page toward the end of the folio concert edition volume 7 you see this picture of Elvis and at the bottom it says deluxe volume A photo album 1977 distributed by factors and boxcar and I don't know if a lot of you knew this but the boxcar logo is supposed to look like a train boxcar but also two dice or die so you can see that that well so for a little closer view there it is now on to the main event here is Souvenir Folio Concert Edition number or volume seven. And as you can see, when you open up the first page, it mentions Boxcar. But if you turn to the page in question, the one that I showed you earlier that mentioned factors. Okay, let me show you again. Here's the souvenir one. It was purchased after Elvis's death and offered for sale. Boxcar and factors are mentioned. You've got a legit one it's blank so one part of the mystery that I have not been able to solve is were these ever was volume 7 ever sold at an Elvis concert because during the CBS special three concerts were filmed and they're selling volume 6 so, anybody that's watching this video, please let me know. Did you go to an Elvis concert and buy Volume 7? If you did, please let me know what concert it was. Did they make some of these and decided to use up all of Volume 6 and slowly work in Volume 7? Or is this one that slipped by and was never republished, restamped, re uh uh, put together or co uh, correlated to show that it is a factors item. So anyway, I'd like to know your feedback. Did anyone go to an Elvis concert in 1977, summer of 77, spring of 77, and actually buy one of these at an Elvis concert? If you did, it will not say factors. It will say just boxcar. If you have one that says factors boxcar, it was made, published, sold after Elvis died. So there you go as a recap. June 77, concession stand guy selling volume six. But clearly, here is Volume 7, with no mention of factors. So, I hope I've kind of dispelled a few of the, uh, a little bit of the mystery behind this, and kind of let you know about factors. But, if you did go to an Elvis concert in 1977 and got Volume 7, please let me know. And if you have a volume seven that does not mention factors, let me know. So I'd really be 
curious to put the last little bit of the puzzle together. So anyway, um, I'm headed into the grocery store for some uh, supplies. I'm out of sun drop and I need some Vienna sausages. So anyway, this was take one of the videos. So sorry about the uh, shaky uh, camera angles. But anyway, please respond to the comments. Please uh, subscribe. And uh, like I said, hopefully this explains a little bit about volume seven, the mystery behind it, and why in the heck was volume six sold right up until Elvis's last concerts? Did any of these make it out for sale at any concerts during 77? Or were these made for the concert tour and going to be widely distributed starting on August 17th, 1977.